Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm George Conley with Scratch Golf Tips and today we're going to be talking about spin rates with the driver. More specifically, how you can reduce your spin rates if your spin rates are too high. So the reason that spin rates being too high can be of detriment to your game is if you often slice the ball or hook the ball, the reason for that happening is because the ball is spinning too much in midair. Now with a slice especially, not only is that very hard to control in terms of left to right and hitting the fairway, but a high spin rate slice uh, goes much shorter, it takes a lot of distance off your ball than a standard stock shot with much less spin. Additionally, high spin rate shots with the driver off the tee perform much more poorly in the wind. Um, if you're hitting a, a slice or a hook, it's accentuated much more with the wind. So in windy conditions, it's not at all good to be hitting a high spin rate shot. Across the board, you wanna keep the spin rates fairly low with the driver. So let's talk about three different ways that we can reduce spin rates with the driver. First off is a very simple one, but uh, this affects me very much personally. Uh, the spinniest shots I hit are always hit low on the club face. So here we have a standard club face and right in the center of most club faces, you'll see some kind of marking. This is the uh, Callaway XR16. Um, so it has this marking, but if you're hitting the ball dead in the center with a normal um, at angle of attack, which we'll talk about later, that is going to be your lowest spin rate shot. I know personally, if I thin the ball, you call it thin with an iron, but if you're gonna thin or hit it low on the club face with the driver, your spin rates are gonna be much higher. Now, one simple drill that I do sometimes to see where I am hitting the ball on the club face is I'll just spray some foot powder or something uh, like that with a little bit of residue on it. Just spray it on the front of your club face Hit, hit, a, hit a ball and then you can, you'll, there'll be an imprint right on the club face seeing exactly where it went. Um, this doesn't damage the club at all. It doesn't you know, do anything. Uh, the, the flight that you hit when there's foot powder on your club face may not be normal, but what you're really looking for is to just diagnose where you're hitting it on the club face. And if you're hitting it low, there are a few different ways to change that. The, the easiest way, uh, if you're hitting it low, is just tee the ball up a little bit. Higher. Secondly, another very common issue that accentuates spin with the driver, which we want to reduce, is your angle attack being uh, too low or a negative angle of attack. Um, so the driver, because it's barely lofted, uh, if this is your impact zone on my hand, we want to be coming up at impact, like so. You don't want to be coming down. You know, with a wedge or an iron, you want to be hitting the ball and then the ground right after the ball. That is not the case with the driver. You wanna be hitting up. But if you are hitting down, the, the, club, the club face is open to the ball for much longer. So I'll get the ball. If you're hitting down, what the ball is gonna do is it's going to ride up the club face. And because the ball moves on the club face like so, it's going to spin a lot more. So if you hit it upward, it doesn't have as much room to roll up on the club face. Hitting it downward, if that angle attack is really steep, with the driver, um, you're going to add a lot of spin to your shots. Many golfers who have that downward angle of attack also have a very steep golf swing. They come over and across the ball. Um, we, this is one of the main causes of slicing. Uh, a lot of baseball players who go to golf will come across the ball. Um, a few drills that I use, one, the, to not come across the ball would just be to get a club, uh, a club head cover like this and put it in your in your trail armpit and then if you cast out the club face is going to fall if you keep it down and you stay shallow it's going to stay in your armpit until you finish the swing and that's fine if it falls then another drill that we can use um, to fix the angle attack which i just spoke about earlier is put a, a club a club head cover or a towel or even a sleeve of golf balls on the ground uh, maybe 8 to 12 inches after the ball that way, if you hit down, you're gonna hit the ball and then you're gonna hit this after when you're coming through in transition. Uh, if you're hitting upward, you can consciously avoid it. So those are two uh, quick drills that you can do to improve not only your steepness across the ball, but the angle of attack that is a result of it. If you get both of those done, um, successfully and you work on them on the range, you'll see your spin rates lower quite a bit. Now those first two tips were a little bit on the more technical side of reducing spin rates, but the final one is something that's very easy to control, which is the type of golf ball you use. Although a lot of golfers won't necessarily see the difference between one golf ball and the other, if you have a very hard golf ball and a very soft golf ball, I'm guessing most golfers who are somewhat competent and understand their game will certainly feel a difference off the tee around the greens in every aspect of their game. A soft golf ball 
ball will generally spin much more than a hard golf ball because the way spin is generated is the ball is compressed into the grooves of a club and the more that golf ball goes into the grooves of the club, the more the spin, the ball will spin. So the softer it is, the more the ball will go into the grooves. Pretty simple. So if you're hitting a Callaway Chrome Soft, which is one of the softer, more popular balls out there, it's going to spin much more inherently than if you're hitting one of the harder golf balls on the market, which the Titleist AVX is an example of that. Keep in mind that there are pros and cons of choosing a hard golf ball over a soft golf ball. Obviously with a driver, you'll be reducing spin, but spin is a great thing to have around the greens or with your iron shots. So if you're, if you're very used to hitting nine irons that land and then suck back, or if you like putting with a soft golf ball, you like hitting out of bunkers, chipping, then you want to outweigh those options. You want to see, is it worth gaining the distance and reducing the spin with the driver and maybe losing a little bit of it on the greens, around the greens, or do you want to hit a spinnier driver but also have more touch around the greens? It really is up to you. You just need to see where your pain points are. If you want more details and product selections on hard golf balls versus soft golf balls, you can look in the description of this video. I'll link to uh, a few selections of both types of golf balls so you can see some examples of each. So that's all I've got for reducing spin with the driver. Just remember you have to be hitting the ball in the center of the club face. If you hit it low in the face, it's going to spin more. Fix that angle of attack. We do not want it going down at the ball. And if none of those work, or you continue to want to see lower spin out of your drives off the tee, try and switch to a hard ball, Titleist, AVX, whatever you'd like. As always, if you have any questions on the video, leave them down in the comments section below. I read and respond to all of the comments, at least those that weren't a response. Thank you all very much for watching. Play well, then take care.